Hi guys, Chris again, and this is a PCIe NVMe carrier board. So this is what you use if you are out of M.2 PCIe slots on your, on your motherboard for additional M.2 SSDs. Um, this particular model is a enterprise grade unit made by a company called Squid, whom I had never actually heard of before I saw this thing. Actually, the first thing I, first time I saw this thing, and I was like, what the heck is that? I know what this is, but I had never seen one with like a fan attached to it or something. So looks like it's got some active cooling capabilities. I'm guessing this chip right here gets a little warm. Um, I don't know what that is. I, I looked into it. I thought it was a PLX chip, if you know what that is, but I don't think it is. But it's it's some sort of chip that heats up. Uh, it looks like it's PCIe Gen 3. Um, and when I received it, part of the reason I bought this computer um, was I paid $600 for the computer and it had four uh, two terabyte Samsung enterprise grade NVMe SSDs. And you can actually see uh, these are a little bit longer than your standard. Let me show you over here. So these are something called a, uh, a 22110, which is that much longer. I keep cutting it out. So about that long right there from here to there is a standard consumer SSD. This is extra long. Um, I don't really know what that's for. I'm thinking maybe it's more uh, more caching and stuff like that on, on the, the drives. These are actually comparatively slow drives. But um, anyway, though, uh, sometimes you can get these with, uh, they'll come with your board. I've seen some nicer boards with these. This one's expensive. This These go even used for, it looks like four to $600, which, when I looked at that, I was like, what the heck? Um, but uh, I thought you guys might like a quick look at it. Um, I get a lot of interesting hardware that I think a lot of you probably don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. So I thought you guys might find that interesting. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.